I'm sure it was his own hair. I'm convinced the answer to this mystery lies somewhere inside this innocent-looking teddy bear. Two coffees, please, Black. And nine for me. Since the captain isn't here, there's no one to stop me claiming my prize. I'm off to the spice system. No, Black. You're needed here. How can I be needed? I'm completely useless. Black, we cannot solve the mystery of the captain's disappearance without coffee. Are you sure? I could do with a holiday. I'm feeling very low. You're looking low. Much lower than usual. Great space! Look at him! He's sinking through the floor! Help! Oh, oh, it's rather fun, actually. Oh, look! I can move around! It's like wading in the sea! Ooh. What's going on? What's happening? Make it stop! Of course! Why didn't I see it before? Jones, you were right. The captain does not wear a toupee. That's not a toupee. That's <gasps> his head. <gasps> Stop. You can't leave me here. You've got to rescue me. I could sink down to the very center of this nameless planet. We'll rescue the captain first, and then the captain can rescue you. Oh, well, if you think that's best. Oh. It's all very simple, Jones. Long years spent in space, followed by prolonged periods spent on the surface, play havoc with the body's natural gravity. Star and Black have suddenly become incredibly dense. So dense that they are sinking through the floor and exerting gravitational pull on small objects around them. They have become like little planets. But why now, all of a sudden? It has long been known that violent mood changes produce small changes in body gravity. That's why we say we are feeling down in the dumps or low. The captain is depressed because he has no orders. Black is depressed because his holiday has been cancelled. But I'm depressed too. Condiment rockets are self-stoking. It could happen to me any minute. No, Jones. It would be impossible for you to get any more dense. You know this rocket better than anyone, Jones. What lies immediately beneath the captain's workshop? The ship's duck pond. To the duck pond! There he is! Don't worry, Captain. We'll soon have you down. Stop! Don't be a fool, Jones! If I get any lower, the ship's duck pond will be drawn upwards by my gravitational field, wrapping me in a watery shroud until I drown. Well, what can we do? The ship's gravity is switching off! Of course. Brilliant, Captain. <laughs> Scarlet, what happened to me here today was not a singular event. It's part of a pattern. You remember Captain Spatz's orders? To find the 29 captains? To find them again. I'd already found them once. Yes, Captain. They are not missing. They are all suffering from depression brought about by the fact that they are no longer in space. The combination of depression and prolonged service in space has triggered catastrophic changes in their bodily densities. Of course. Spratt's science officer said he had been unable to find any retired captains. Now we know why. Precisely. The 29 captains will almost certainly be found beneath their own patios. Well, there's no sign of them here. Hmm, nothing but their hats. Where could they have got to? Can't have gone far without their hats. Great space, sir. Navigator Black, I've just remembered. He's sinking into the linoleum of his own cafe as we speak. We must move him to the ship at once. A spell of weightlessness will retune his bodily gravity. Impossible. He must weigh the equivalent of several tons already. How will we move him? Jones, stoke up the ship's lifting gear. Aye, aye, Captain. Hold on, Black! Oh. Stand hard, science officer. I'm bringing him in. The pistons are overheating, Captain. I don't think we can lift him. He weighs more than the ship. We're being pulled into his gravitational field. Ooh. 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 If I can just get her to tip forward, it should create a gyro effect. 
Vice just lift us. <laughs> How's that, Black? Feeling a little lighter? Yes. Well, thank you, Captain. I, I feel... Well, I feel rather marvelous, actually. So do I, Black. So do I. Captain, I have a reading on Black's excursion rocket. It's coming this way. Hint taken, Scarlet. Goodbye. 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 Have, have a nice holiday. holiday. I don't think I'll be needing this. No, Captain. All you need is a low-level orbit once a month to help maintain your emotional and gravitational equilibrium. A monthly ride through dear old space. I think we can manage that. Captain's diary. A little anxiety caused by temporary weight gain. Soon shook that off. Thought for the day. <laughs> they also serve who only stand and wait. Make your report. That Captain Star is one tough hombre. He nearly rubbed me a dozen times or more. Don't mess with that Captain Star, that's what I say. Go and invade some other planet. Dear Diary, still no sign of those naughty 29 captains. I'm quite sure Captain Star would have a trifle like this cleared up in a twinkling. Huh? <laughs> 